start off from the Ghana Football Association and the association is staying committed to an earlier promise of paying critical attention to women's football in Ghana. Now in an announcement on Monday, the association named two persons, Executive Council Member Madame Habibata and Na Odufule Norte to, to head the special team to come up with a policy document. Now communications head at the Football Association, Henry Asante Chum, has been speaking to TV3. In the vision of the Executive Council, um, there is the need for us to, um, you know, lift the the image of women's football. You remember in 1999 when we qualified for our first World Cup in in the United States of America, we had a number of household names in 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 our industry. Um, the likes of Memona to Suleimana, Messi Tego, who is now the coach of the Black Queens, um, Albert Tasaki, um, you know, Mavis Jangba, among others, Dora Zuta and co. These were household names, you know, women's football in Ghana. Then fast forward to 2003, the Ajua Bios, the Florence Okos also came into the scene. And then 2007, probably, um, when we, we had that generation coming to the end of a cycle. And so from that time till date, we have struggled, um, especially at the international scene. We haven't qualified for any World Cup. We've never made it to the Olympic Games. And even when it comes to the Africa Women's Championship, back in the day, we used to wrap shoulders with Nigeria, South Africa, Equatorial Guinea, among others. But today, um, that is not happening. So the Executive Council thinks um, that um, we need to change the status quo, change the narrative, rebrand our women's football. We need to be competitive once again. If you sell in a product, before you take it to the market, it has to be well packaged. If it is not packaged, people will not patronize it. Now, we produce a social product that is consumed by the masses. Um, you know, the, the research and the feedback we have received is that women's football is lacking that structural support and the needed push. Um, so as part of efforts to at least bring it up and uh, make sure it is able to be in that same zone in terms of attention, in terms of publicity, in terms of you know, marketing, in terms of investment, there is a need for us to package it, for us to rebrand it, and for us to make the product look good. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why the Executive Council has taken that decision to appoint Madame Na Dufole and uh, Madame Habibata to lead that, that course. What took us so long for the executive committee or even the FA to come to this decision? Well, first of all, you, you realize that when they took office, there was a need to come up with, you know, a decision whether to focus on the administrative structures or to focus on the sporting um, no, issues. Because